Coach, you're uh, coming off a season when you uh, picked up the just the second to East Division championship in team history this year. Um, on top of that, what, what did the team accomplish this year? Well, overall, they had a great year. One of our goals was to win the East Division championship, and uh, we were able to do that. And, uh, you know, it was a team that uh, really came together well. We had a lot of senior leadership, and uh, it was a fun group to work with. And uh, obviously we didn't finish like we would have liked, uh, but overall I thought it was an outstanding year. And individually you, you had some, some players, especially among those upperclassmen and some of the underclassmen as well who uh, really came through. In fact, this year you, you probably played more freshmen than you've, than you've ever played. Yeah, we had, a, we had a good mix of seniors and uh, also some younger guys that uh, were getting their feet wet uh, this year. So the senior leadership was outstanding. Uh, we're going to miss a couple of those guys. Uh, Jacob Starnes, our shortstop, is a four-year starter for us that we're going to have to try to replace. Uh, Chase Brown, uh, two-year starter in center field. He was a transfer for us that uh, hit over 400 this year. Um, so he's going to be hard to replace as well. And then Kyle Guest is another guy that's been here four years. Uh, that uh, we're going to have to find somebody to pick up the slack for those guys. But we did have some younger guys uh, step up and play a big role for us. Micah Easterling, who caught for us uh, almost every game this year, was a freshman that stepped in and did really well for us. Well, moving forward, uh, you know, in addition to having some of those guys coming back to build on, um, what, are you, what are you looking for in the offseason? What, what holes you got to plug? Well, obviously with those three seniors, shortstop, center field, and first base, uh, we're going to have to fill some holes. And hopefully we've got some guys that are already on the roster that are going to be able to fill those holes. But, you know, out recruiting, we're looking to fill those needs. And then obviously pitching, you can never have enough pitching. Uh, so that's always something that uh, any team is going to go look for in the off season. Now, speaking of pitching, uh, you should have a couple of guys come back next year that uh, your front line uh, pitchers. So, you know, what is that a better position than you've been in in the past? Or? Yes, we're in we're in very good shape on the on the hill. We're losing a one conference starter and our closer. Uh, we're seniors this year. Uh, but we've got two guys coming back, and then we had um, several guys that got significant innings for us this year that we'll be back, and hopefully one of those guys can fill the hole in the conference rotation, and possibly one of them can be our closer next year.